Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to the Flats Back Challenge, which is probably about the most difficult intro I've ever said. And no, don't do it. No, don't. Don't try walking places. It doesn't end well. Some of your friends tried walking. Look, let me... Let me at least build this pathway up a little bit for you, yeah? I know the second I turn around, you're gonna walk straight onto the magma, but at least, at least let me feel like I've done my part to stop that from happening, okay? Okay, good. I, I think I got through to him. <laughs> anyway, yeah, welcome back to the, the Flats Back Challenge. This is the, the kind of bizarre challenge which I am currently doing where I need to try. Well, there's a few things I need to try and do. Basically, oh, look at that guy. Look at him. Just walking onto the magma. It's like, can, can you not see it? It's right there. So, yeah, basically, there's a bunch of different challenges I need to do. And, oh, is he gone? Okay, I thought, I thought that was him gone then. So, a bunch of challenges that I need to do, and there's different levels throughout this challenge. So, I'm on the, the first challenge now, which is called The Beast. And in The Beast, there's uh, a few different things I need to do. I need to, to get to level 25 in my experience. I need to get three gold apples, three gas tears, and three TNT blocks. They're kind of the, the big tasks that I have at hand. So, a lot of that actually involves going to the, the nether. Which is good because, oh, there he goes. I told you, look, the second I turn around, I knew he was going to jump in. Let's let's block this guy off in here. I don't want to lose all of my villagers. You can stay blocked off inside of here. Don't do it. Don't, don't move. Don't move. You stay there. And there we go. It's not a good life they're going to live trapped inside of one small tower. But at least he will have a life that he can live. <laughs> you know, apart from the, the ones that go and just jump straight into the, the magma. Right then, so there's a few things I need to do then. But it seems like the, the main task for now, at least is to, to get to the nether. And so, of course, I need to, to build myself a nether portal. And to do that, considering I don't have any diamond tools, basically, I don't have a diamond pickaxe, that means that I'm going to, to need to, to use buckets. And in the last episode, I built up a very tall tower, and I saw that there's a few pools of lava over in that direction. So, what I think the, the easiest way for me to get over there is instead of building blocks like I kind of have been doing, uh, is to, to dig my way there. So, look, if I go and make a bunch of these pickaxes, I can kind of dig my little path through. Also... If I can then have it so that there's grass spreading through the area that I dig out, then that would also be helpful because it means that I could get some animals spawning. And I don't necessarily need any animals for these challenges, but it'd be nice, wouldn't it? It'd be nice to have some animals. Oh, there's some clay down here as well. Do I need clay for anything? I don't think I need clay for anything, so let's not worry about that too much for now. So right then, let's go and head in the, the direction of the, the lava. It seemed to be... Shall I, shall I take a look on the tower again? It means, it means building the ladder. So I'm pretty sure I know roughly where it was. I'm pretty sure it's over in this direction somewhere. <laughs> Can you tell how unconfident that sounded then? I'm pretty sure I might maybe know where it is. <laughs> I guess if I come and dig through some of these other pools as well, if there's grass there as well, that's going to increase the, the spreading. I also want to dig out some areas where there's not magma anyway. So I can get some googly spawning. That's not normally one of my goals. I normally want less googlies rather than more googlies. Uh, but in this case, I need to, to make some TNT, which means I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of gunpowder. I think it might be, is it four or six or five? I don't know. It's a certain amount of gunpowder that I need to, to gather. So I'm going to need to, to do that as well at some point. So it'd probably be a good idea to, to kind of get that done. Because that's probably going to be the easiest of the, the challenges. I think the hardest one is actually going to be the gold apple. Apples. Getting the apples shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, hopefully I'm just going to kind of get them randomly as I'm growing trees. Anyway, uh, the gold is going to be difficult because that's going to involve me having to, to fight some zombie pigmen. And to do that, I'm going to need some better stuff because I've only got a stone sword and then I got a little bit of iron armor that I just got from the, the blacksmith's chest. So I'm going to have to definitely go and try and track down some more villagers. And they should spawn pretty regularly and they shouldn't be too hard to find. Seeing as there's no obst other obstacles, there's no trees or mountains or anything else in my way, I should be able to, to kind of track them down relatively easily. It's just kind of... And traveling to new areas in this world takes a while because, yeah, I basically need to, to do what I'm doing now. Anyway, I think, oh, is that the lava? Oh, is the lava there? I think the lava might be right here. It's even closer than I thought it was. You see where that stone is? Normally when there's stone like that, it means that you're you're close to, to where the, the lava is going to, to be. So I think we may have come across the, the lava already. So I have two options now. I can either pick up the lava and gradually bring it back to the, the town, or I could build the nether portal here. 
I don't know which would take longer overall. You know, what? I think it might be better to bring the lava back. Even though at the moment I only have one bucket. I might be able to, to make more, uh, more in the future. But even though I only have one more bucket, I'm going to be going in and out the never quite a lot. So having it by my house would just be so handy. It would just be so much better to, to have it close by to my house. I think just doing a few back and forth taxi trips just to, to get it all back there is going to be a good idea. And all. Oh, this gravel, this might become important as well, because something else I didn't really think about is uh, I'm going to need flint and steel as well to, to actually light the, the portal. So uh, let's go and uh, well, let's go and bucket up some of this lava. And oh, look at my look at my inventory. I don't think I'm ever going to need these magma blocks for anything. So let's let's just ditch all of these now because I'm going to get stacks and stacks and stacks of these things, especially <laughs> if I keep digging out areas the, the way that I have been. So let's go and throw all of them away down there. I'm going to gather up some of this stone because stone is something that I can't really get anywhere else, to be fair. There are uh, bits of stone kind of throughout the um, the, the town. <laughs> I always forgot what the, the world was like underneath there. I forgot that there was the glass everywhere. Should I show you probably what it looks like down there, by the way? Should we go have a, a little sneak peek? I'm a little bit scared doing it right next to this lava. So I'm not allowed through the obsidian. This is kind of like the, the barrier that I have in this world so far. I'm not allowed to go beyond that level at all. But it looks cool, doesn't it? Just seeing like underneath all of these little bits of water and lava everywhere i i think it looks cool anyway <laughs> so yeah let's uh oh i kind of i kind of need to waste some blocks going back up i guess we can uh waste some of the the dirt because dirt is going to be one of the other things that i'm not going to to be running out of in this challenge so uh, yeah let's go and uh, throw some of that down there gather up a bit more of the the cobblestone and then the the lava itself and then this will be kind of the the first trip and of course water isn't going to be as much of a problem because there's water everywhere and of course i can kind of just make infinite water sources everywhere so uh, yeah, lava was always going to be the, the more challenging part of this, uh, this challenge. But what I do really need to do is just kind of build out a platform where I'm actually going to, to build this uh, this never uh, portal and then also build the, the place where I'm going to have my mob spawning. I want to kind of... Oh, oh, there's a sheep. There's a sheep. There's an animal. There's an, there's an actual animal that spawned and not wandered onto the, the magma yet. Hello, sheep. <laughs> I don't want to harm the sheep. We'll leave the, the happy sheep there. Isn't it just nice to have another creature in the, the world wandering <laughs> around? We should hopefully be seeing more creatures as we get deeper down into to some of the, the other levels. But for now, it's nice just to have my my single friendly sh uh, sheep uh, hanging around there in that area so yeah i'm just gonna grab this kind of top level of the the, the cobblestone uh, i'll keep the the gravel on me because i can kind of just keep uh, placing down the same gravel and breaking it away to, to get the the flint that way that is not going to, to be a problem uh, but yeah for now let's go and head back home i'm glad it wasn't too far away the lava because those those pools of lava they're way rarer than the the water so that lava could have ended being uh, ended up being way way further away than it was i am glad that it is where it was sitting though and now we should have the um the 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 dirt all spreading uh, across this area here what i might also do though seeing as i'm here and it's right in front of me let's go and grab some of the sand i'm not sure how much sand i need in order to to be able to make the the tnt but this is going to be enough surely that's going to be enough there's only one block of tnt there we go 10 bits of sand that should be absolutely fine so let's go and kind of we can build out where the never portal is going to be and then i want to build off just a walled off area with just ground which isn't magma uh, so that the um uh, the mobs can spawn and it is called magma isn't it okay magma block okay <laughs> i have a habit of just calling things the wrong name and then everyone's shouting at me and me not noticing for ages so seeing as i'm going to be saying magma a lot considering that's kind of the main thing in the the world i just wanted to make sure it wasn't called something similar to magma block but not actually called that so yeah this is all going to be spreading then so it's all going to change to grass which means we might get animals spawning the problem is just like the villagers is if they just jump up onto the the magma things aren't going to end very well for them but i can always uh, dig out a big area in the the future but for now uh, let's go home let's go cut down that tree and then let's go to, to bed i was able to to make a bed in my last episode which is a very uh, handy thing to have been able to have done uh, which means i can kind of skip the the night now and we do get some googly spawning we do get some because they spawn on the the rooftop of the the town and stuff already so uh, i do have a chance to to track some down because i want some spiders it's not just the um it's not just the creepers that really matter it's the spide as well because i need to get a ghast here and you can of course get ghast here by knocking back the the fireballs as they launch them at you but it's not always the easiest thing to do in the world and if i'm not gonna have the the best armor i really don't want to to risk me failing and i'm playing on normal i do generally on most series play on easy but i am playing on normal i did want to, to make it a bit more difficult for myself and i'm not gonna have great armor so i think i'd like to, to play it safe 
Uh, keep inventory is not on either, in case you're wondering. Uh, just uh, another added thing to, to make it uh, a little bit more difficult for myself. Uh, but let's just go and grab this sapling and we can put it on there. And then, yeah, I want to spread more more just wood around this area here and kind of have that as my my little growing patch and I just have that as my kind of my, my nice place where it's a little bit safer for when I'm gathering up all of these different things uh, when I'm kind of doing things related to, to growing stuff. So let's go and make all of the, the, the wood that I've gathered into a bunch of blocks. And let's just kind of go and uh, fill out this area here for now. And then just put a bunch of torches around it as well because uh, when it becomes nighttime, they're not going to, to be continuing to, to grow. Unless I go and put some uh, some torches around them. And that just means uh, we're going to get loads more quick. Like, soon wood's not going to be a big issue. I mean, it's not even the biggest issue in the world right now. But once I've just got, like, a whole load of these trees growing, I can just spend, like, one day just gathering up a bunch of wood. And then I probably i am not going to, to need to worry about it too much. It's everything else <laughs> that I need to worry about. It's the the iron and the, the diamond and basically everything else. Like, coal, all of the other important things that I just can't gather normally. And that's the thing I love about these channels. Challenges. I love a challenge where the things that you don't normally think about in Minecraft suddenly become hugely important. Like stone. Like there's hardly any cobblestone in this world. Like stone is like, I have too much stone. Like I, I've got to the point where in my lovely world, I don't even keep it. I used to have like a stone room that I used to put all of my spare stone in in case I'm ever going to need a hundred stacks of stone. And now I'm like, I'm never going to need that much stone. Like half the world is made out of stone. I don't need it anymore. And then yeah, you just stop caring. And so it's cool to do a challenge where suddenly you're like, stone matters. Stone is important to me. <laughs> Hashtag stone matters. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's something that normally you don't think about. But now it's going to kind of become an actual big challenge. Apples as well. I really want an apple. I really want an apple. I'm going to need to end up getting three golden apples. So it'd be good to get some money. Actually, wait a minute. I got eight apples. What am I on about? I need to, to get apples. I got too many apples. <laughs> so let's just go and uh, throw. Let's just throw at least three of them inside of this chest here. And then that way, uh, I know I've got them kind of safely there. And uh, let's go and throw some of my potatoes in here as well. So we can go and start them cooking. Because that's probably going to be the, the main food I'm going to, to eat. Because, uh, uh, yeah, potatoes are absolutely amazing just for, uh, yeah, being able to, to gather easy, cook easy, and then being able to, to get loads of food. So, yeah, apples don't matter too much. I just want to make sure I get the, the saplings back, I guess. Is the problem. Whoa! I'm stuck in a tree! <laughs> I love it when that happens. I love it when you just get engulfed by a tree. Imagine if that happened in real life. Imagine you're just down the park and suddenly a boom oak tree just kind of flies out the ground and kind of traps you in the, the branches. <laughs> Good timing, though. Good timing to, to build up a supply. So, right then, what should we do? Let's, um,. Let's set up where we're going to build the, the nether portal then, because that's going to be uh, pretty uh, important. I want it to be close by, but not right next to my house, because they, they make weird noises, and sometimes things do kind of venture through the portals, and I don't want that to, to happen if it's right next to, to where I'm sleeping. So let's just kind of build out in this area here, and it's going to be a small portal. I'm not going to dress it up in, uh, in any fancy ways. It's going to be a pretty tiny one. And actually, I can't build it out of wood, really, can I? Because I'm going to, to have to be um, uh, be doing it by just pouring down lava and stuff. So let's uh, let's do a, a cobblestone base. Then I'm definitely glad I gathered up that cobblestone. So let's do uh, a cobblestone base along here like this, and then the the path leading to it as well. I guess I should have that uh, also made out of cobblestone uh, because otherwise this entire area is going to end up getting completely burnt away, uh, which isn't going to be very good for for anyone. So let's go and do a cobblestone path uh, leading it to uh, leading to here because this entire area is going to be eventually kind of covered in lava once I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, once I go and start actually building this thing. So there we go. That's basically going to be where the, the area is. So another good thing to do then would be to, to basically build a pool of lava. So let's just, uh, rather than having to, to build up more and wasting more materials, let's just kind of dig down in this area here. And let's just make it a big space. So when I'm kind of doing my trips going back and forth, I can just kind of fill this entire area full of lava. And then that way I'll be able to, to gather it up easily. So let's do just... Uh maybe one path of cobblestone like along next to it maybe and then that way I'll be able to, to walk up and down here and grab all of the, the lava that I need to. Let me just go and use this wooden pickaxe for, for now to, to go and break away the, the rest here and I can already see just how important this stone is going to, to be because <laughs> there's so many uh, different uses that I have for it. Basically everything that I don't need wood for and then anything I need to, to craft as well. Of course stone tools and things but I don't know say if I 
don't, I don't know if I'm going to need to, but say if I need to do a lever or, or anything, it's just good to, to have it. So let's just go and uh, break away this well. This well looks pretty, but it's not important. So let's just go and uh, gather up all of the, the rest of the, the stone here. And then I might go and uh, start work on my, my googly's arena. So I don't know. Should, should, should I do it roofed off? I could do a roof. And I was thinking of just doing like one patch where there basically isn't magma. But then... But then I'm only going to be able to battle things at night. But that should be okay, to be fair. Because I'm not going to need a crazy amount of googlies just to, to get that, that, um, uh, the, um, oh, what's it called? The gunpowder. So I'm not going to need a crazy amount. So once again, I think the strategy might be to, to dig out the, the magma just so we have the normal ground because they're going to spawn on the, the dirt, of course. And then we can just build up the walls around the outside. And then that should be enough just to, to stop them wandering into the, the town and blow me up when I sleep. And so I can kind of just go in and out. Like, I can just put a door on it. <laughs> Googlies can't open doors. Googlies are silly. I can just literally just put like a door on the arena and then I can kind of go in and out that way. Way. So once again, I don't want to build it right next to, to where I'm going to, to be sleeping. So let's go and build it out maybe over here-ish somewhere. I'll do like another path leading over to, to here maybe. So uh, let's go and do it. We got water around here. Let's maybe just do it down here, this section. Why not? So let's go. Let's go make myself uh, another pickaxe then, because uh, this pickaxe is going to be destroyed any second. Now let's go and make uh, myself a few more uh, stone pickaxes, and then I can just go and start digging out a big area there. I can just use the the wood that I've already gathered to to make the walls, and then that's going to be kind of that part of the the challenge set. And then what I might do then between this episode and the next episode, I might do what I said about with the lava. It's going to be literally me just going back and forth, like grabbing lava again and again and again. And that's going to get really, really boring really, really fast. So I'm going to have to do it whatever. So I, I need to put up with the fact that it's going to be boring. But you don't have to. I can kind of just do that uh, in between this episode and uh, the next episode. And then once uh, we come back in, then I'll be ready to, to pretty much build the nether portal. Can you believe how, like, efficiently I'm doing this? This isn't like me. Has Stumpy Cat been kidnapped and replaced with a, another better Minecrafter who's actually staying on target and getting things done? Like, I honestly half expected me to be, I don't know, trying to to build a rocket ship right now or building a pirate ship or I don't know building a giant silly googly face or something you know like <laughs> I half expected me to be to be distracted just doing something completely unrelated to the things that I'm actually supposed to be doing but so far I've been I've been staying on track I have been focused I think a big reason for it is I'm really looking forward to digging down I'm really looking forward to to getting to the the next level and not just because it's the feast level not not just only four for that reason. I want to, <laughs> to dig down anyway. If you didn't hear, basically there's the four different levels. So uh, we're currently on the beast. There's the, the beast, the feast, the craft, and then the, the last. And obviously I'm looking forward to the, the feast more than anything else because it being called the, the feast is a very good giveaway for kind of the idea of what I'm going to be doing when I get down to, to that level. So right then. This is going to be the, the area here. It doesn't need to be too massive. The thing is, if it's really small, it kind of actually becomes more dangerous than if it was really big. Because if it's a tiny room and a creeper spawns in it, and if I go in the room, there's not really there's not really any room for me to run around and avoid it blowing up in my face. So I want it to, to kind of be big enough that I can kind of safely get in and out and I can kind of look through the, the door and see exactly what it is I'm going to, to be facing when I go in there, whether I actually want to, to go in there. And then it's really spot spiders and creepers that I'm after. I need spiders to, to get their, their string, to get a, a bow and arrow, then I of course need the, the creepers to get gunpowder, so I'll be able to eventually make my uh, my TNT, uh, which is going to be very important. Actually, it's three TNT blocks I need, don't I? It's three of everything. It's three gold apples, three ghast tears, and three TNT, so I might uh, need to, to gather up a little bit uh, of extra sand after all. I mean, sand's not the, the difficult part. The the loads of TNT is more the, the difficult part. And then the experience as well. That's another important important thing about this area. So it might actually then be worth getting a little bit fancier and actually doing it so maybe googly spawn and then they kind of get funneled towards me and then I can just take them out. Basically like an experience trap. That could actually be worth it. Seems I need to get to experience level 25. That's pretty high. 
that's quite high to, to get up quite quick. So maybe I should go and do something a little bit fancier. If I just have a dark room and all I can do is just have some trails of water leading to basically a one block gap and then I can just stand there and just basically attack their kneecaps and uh, take them all out that way and then I'll be able to, to get all of the, the goods that I need and I'll also be able to, uh, yeah, to get up all of the, the different experience that I need to, to get uh, as well. And oh, did you see that? Is there... I sure, I'm sure I saw something on the distance there. I'm sure I saw, like, a structure on the horizon. Am I going mad? Let me go and dig over in this direction a little bit. Sometimes you need to kind of tilt. Oh, look! If I tilt my head down, I think that's a farm. I think there's another village. Oh, look, there, there is! <laughs> it just popped in as I said that. There's another village right there. Look at that. There's a village here. This is where I've set up my home. And there's another village literally right on the horizon. And I was just saying how much I need to, to go to another village to be able to get some better stuff. This is absolutely perfect. So no prizes for guessing exactly where I am going to be heading in the, the next episode. I'm going to go to the village. I'm going to loot everything that I can. <laughs> I'm going to go to the blacksmith. Hopefully get some more iron. Maybe some diamonds. Fingers crossed. We'll have to, to wait and see. And yeah, basically that is going to, to hopefully uh, be able to, to set me up for the, the future of the Flats Back Challenge. But sadly, that is the, the end of this episode here. Hopefully you are enjoying the, the series so far. Of course, there'll be a link down in the description to the next episode, as well as the, the playlist with all of the, the Flats Back Challenge that will be coming up in the, the future. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!